Hi guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. I'm gonna film a makeup show for you guys and I'm just really gonna hop into it. It's just, I'm gonna be talking about whatever I want to talk about, kind of like a chit chat. Get ready with me. Um, and honestly, I have so much to do, but I just got all three kids to nap. Um, and if you're wondering what three kids I'm talking about, because maybe you saw that I have two, um, I actually, Anthony goes to school in the morning. <laughs> three kids did that make sense it didn't even make sense in my head <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and get started and we can chit chat a little bit more as we go through this video i'm just gonna add a little bit of mattifying primer to my face this is the professional um matte rescue by benefit um and i'm gonna add i'm actually gonna zoom you guys in a little bit what do you guys like let me know do you guys like it zoomed in to like where you guys can see just like this part of my face or do you guys like it zoomed out usually whenever I'm getting ready like a chit chat get ready with me I like to zoom it out because I like the feel of it but I also like to zoom it in maybe do you guys like both of them like put together I don't know just let me know because I'm trying to figure out how to do my videos um, so let me know what you guys like you guys like this better or the other part better so I'm gonna grab just a little dab of this um, primer and I'm gonna just pretty much add it in my t-zone and then spread it out like my whole face and then my eyelids have been getting a little bit oily so I'll just put whatever I have left on my eyelids and I'm gonna go in with the better the Maybelline super say better skin skin transforming foundation <laughs> this is what it looks like I, so I got two of these shades because I didn't know which one was my shade this one was way too dark and this one was kind of a little too light um, so I got this one first I don't know why I got it first but I felt like it was my color I don't know what I was thinking that day but then I put it on like I look like a Noomba Loompa I can't be doing this so I went to get a lighter shade which is this one and it's a little too light so I just figured I'm gonna mix them and use them all up so this lighter one is in 80 rich tan and this darker one is in 90 warm honey so I put like two pumps of the darker one and then like a pump of the lighter one and then I just mix them together I need to get myself a new Real Technique sponge, but we'll just use this one. So I'm just using a Real Technique sponge and buffing this into my skin. It's a little too orange for me, but on camera it looks fine. So we'll just we'll roll with it, okay? And I'm going to use my favorite concealer, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sand. I finally got my the concealer that matches. So I'm going to put this underneath my eyes. So I think I'm going to do a pretty dramatic look for you guys today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy more dramatic looks. If you guys like to see like a 10 minute, like a 15 minute look, definitely let me know. I would love to film that for you guys. But I do have a lot of those on my channel already, so you can look for those so I've been really enjoying doing this where I bring the line all the way down and I don't know it just does something to my face and I just really really like it so I know this looks like a lot you guys because it really is but I like a lot of concealer okay on my forehead So then I like to go in with this side of the sponge that I used to like blend my foundation. I like to just dab it in so that as you guys can see like the difference, like it just blends it all in um, and it doesn't make the light of the concealer, like the lighter side of the concealer come out and it just kind of makes it all even because sometimes I do look crazy. So as you guys can see, it's like. This part's like really harsh, like right here, and then like right here it's more blended. Um, so that's just what I like to do. And I'm gonna use the Airspun Translucent 
face powder. Well, no, this is not translucent. This is the naturally neutral. I do have the translucent one. And if you guys are wondering what's the difference, you guys see the difference? Like this one is like more yellow toned, and then this one's like like this one's honestly more pinky tone. Um, and that's what I didn't like about this one because whenever I put it on my face or like underneath my eyes, it would look a lot more like pinky. Um, which, I mean, I don't have a problem around here because then I, like, bronze it up. But around here, like, around underneath my eyes, I just didn't like the way it looks. So, I'm going to go in with the naturally neutral. Guys, sorry, my camera stopped recording. And I'm just going to kind of bake. But first, I do like to blend the product into my under eye area. And then just let it sit there just for a little bit. I, I also let my thing bake. My under eye bake if I'm doing my eyeshadow just in case if I get any fallout um, it'll fall out on here so I'm actually gonna bake this time because I want more of a dramatic look so I am gonna bake today I know I said I wasn't gonna bake or just bake a little bit but I'm gonna make a more dramatic look today and then I also like to add it on my chin or like underneath my cheekbones it helps with the contour Makes it a little bit more sharper. The first shade that I'm gonna go into is gonna be Optimistic, which is this shade right here. Um, and this is from the B by Bubs Beauty. I'm going with my old time favorite Sony Kashuk brush. Okay, guys, so I zoomed you guys in a little bit more. So I just want like kind of like a shadow right here. So I'm just lightly dusting that over like right above my crease and then also into my crease if that makes sense I'm gonna go in to the Carly Bible deluxe palette I know you can't read the name because it's all like blurred out but I'm gonna go into this shade right here with a smaller Sonia Kasher blending brush and I'm gonna apply that right over the other shade into a little bit of a deeper bronzy color um so this one from the tardis pro to go palette um i think it's called crisp yeah and i'm gonna go in with that same brush and i'm gonna deepen that up just a little just a teeny tiny bit you guys Can you guys see like how rich, how much richer and deeper that is? So I want to add like a little bit of like a burnt red. But the closest color that I have to a burnt red is Thoughtful from the Bubs Beauty um, palette. And I guess I'll use it. I mean, it has kind of a shimmer in it, but... It's like a very slight shimmer, so I don't think it'll be that. It's not like glittery. It's just shimmery. I don't know. We'll see how it works. So I'm going to go into Thoughtful with this BH Cosmetics um, brush. And I don't know where I'm going to really place this, but I'm going to try to blend it into the crease and outer V. So I'm going to go in with that first brush that we used and I'm just going to go over all of this and blend it all out because I was getting a little intense you guys with no extra product just blending it all together to add a little bit more of that red tone into the crease and stuff I'm going to go into the Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm going to go in with a little bit of slow burn oh sorry guys I'm gonna blind you a little bit of slow burn which is this one and then I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of savage which is this one I'm gonna use a pretty fluffy brush for this this is the Sephora around crease brush because I do want it to blend very well into the crease so first I'm gonna go in with the 
slow burn and this is actually a matte shade but since it has this like glittery silver shade in there um that's why it has a little bit of like chunks it looks like it's glittery but it's not it's actually matte it's just that silver shade you got everywhere so i'm gonna take the tiniest bit you guys i'm like putting whatever access i have on the back of my hand the tiniest bit at a time and adding that to the crease because it's a little intense Oh, yes, I like it. Ooh, this is intense, you guys. And I took the tiniest bit, you guys. I'm going to go back in with this blending brush and just kind of blend everything together. I'm going to go into the pink and just grab a little, little, little pink. That was a tiny bit. Um, and try to, like, work this into the crease more. Okay, I can tell it's there, which is good. I just wanted to see how it looked. Then I'm going to go back in with the fluffier brush and blend a little bit more. The color that we're going to use is going to be from the Carly Bible palette, the Deluxe palette once again. And it's going to be this really pretty like pink color right here. Um, you can spritz it with some thick stuff some spray if you want to. Um, but we're going to pick that up on a wet brush. I really really love this intense like really pretty salmon but bronzy and beautiful like shade from this palette's honestly been one of my favorite shades to use with this is the Sephora small shadow brush I love it so much I love it so much you guys like I can't get enough of this shade You guys see how pretty that is? Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. I want to deepen up a little bit of it, like the outer V, just a little bit. And I think I'm gonna use this purple shade right here. So yeah, I really like that. I'm gonna take the fluffy brush that I used with the red and I'm just with no extra product I'm just gonna blend that purple into everything now I'm gonna add the dark wing and I got this Milani um, eyeshadow palette for $4.50 at Walmart it was on sale and I think the only reason it was on sale is because it was open I'm like girl let me take that these are the colors in the palettes um, and I'm gonna use this black one so so pigmented I love it um, it's so easy to blend out as well and it's so pigmented so I'm gonna take an angled brush by BH cosmetics and I'm gonna dip into the, the black right here and I'm just gonna create a wing with this but I don't think I already look look at that girl that was one swipe I'm going to take just a clean angled brush like it's, it's a, this one is a little bit more fluffier and not as precise as the one that I was using and I'm just gonna kind of like smudge this out because I am seeing if I smudge it out with the same brush I'm getting like a lot of black fallout underneath my eyes and you don't really want that yet because that's not cute okay Oh, I really like that you guys I'm gonna clean up this little bit a little bit and I'm gonna clean it up so it matches up with the line but other than that I really like that smoky look grab a little bit of my concealer and just go right up against those edges I know it looks kind of crazy 
Okay, this is a little concealer brush. I'm gonna like kind of squeeze it and blend this out. Okay guys, so then I'm gonna go in just with the leftover powder. I'm gonna grab a brush and kind of sweep that extra powder away. For the lower lash line, I'm probably just gonna use two of the shades that I'm that I use on my eyelid, which is this one, which is Chris from the TARDIS Pro To Go palette. And I'm gonna use the same brush that I used to blend out the black. So I'm gonna smudge this color all on my lower lash line. With whatever's left of my brush, I'm gonna go and Put it just on the outer corner of this, of my under eye. In with a cream shade. I'm just going to take this one from the Carly Bible palette. And I'm just going to take a flat brush from BH Cosmetics. And I am going to highlight the brow bone a little bit. What I like to use for an intense eyebrow, I like to go into the Take Me to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. And I like to go in with this black right here. And I'm taking the Sephora Angled Liner Brush. And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows like I usually do. It's just with a darker shade, so I have to be more cautious. So that's honestly all I do for my eyebrows. It's not that detailed or anything, but if you guys would like an eyebrow tutorial, let me know. I'd be happy to do that. I'm actually going to take what's left over on that um, brush that I did my eyebrows with, and I'm just going to put a little bit more underneath here. So I'm going to take this palette that I haven't taken in a long time. It's the e.l.f. Bronza palette, if I can open it. Um, and it looks like this. Oh, looks like dang it. And I'm actually going to mix all the colors together and bronze up my face with this fan brush by BH Cosmetics. So I'm just literally just going to go like this. Oh crap, I forgot to set my face. I usually set my face and then I do the bronzer. Oops. Too late now. I'm definitely bronze. I'm gonna take this blush right here by Tarte, and it's called Magic. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna take this angled brush by Wet n Wow, which is like a dollar. Go get it. It was like a dollar. I'm gonna contour a little bit with the NYX Hala in Contour Palette, and this shade right here. It's okay if it, your brush has a little bit of blush on it, you won't die. So, what I've been liking to do lately for my highlight is I like to take these two highlights without a brush. I like to take my finger and I like to just go into the, oh lot, these two shades right here. And I have to tap off kind of like the excess on my hand and then I like to just tap it into my face like so. up my temple and then again and then I like to go keep as well chin nose and then I'm gonna highlight the inner corner with I think I want to do this purpley like pinky white one It actually looks pretty good guys it's a little intense but it looks really good hey guys i'm gonna run upstairs grab some lashes and then come back and put some lipstick on and then we're done <sighs> kayla what lashes are these for real like do you see how intense these lashes are 
like this one is a little bit more intense because it looks a little bit more like a caterpillar but i like how this one looks i don't really like how this one looks this one's really hard to put on but i think it's because i don't know why honestly it was just super hot to put on i don't know why how you doing this to me last okay guys we're gonna move on to the lips because i'm just sitting here complaining about my eyelashes which isn't okay <laughs> this one this is the um what is this the What's this by? Is this Maybelline or CoverGirl? What does it say? Yeah, I don't know who this is by, honestly, but it's in the shade Stormy Sahara 945. And this is what it looks like. And. Oh, that is so pretty. I really like the way that looks, guys. Like. I hate this eyelash I know you guys tell me about it but I don't have any new eyelashes I'm probably gonna end up taking these off and like just putting mascara on my eyes um, but other than that you guys I really really enjoyed filming this video for you guys and I have to say bye now because my camera is legit gonna die any second now oh I almost just choked on my spit let's zoom you guys out look at how crazy my hair is guys this is legit my hair like <laughs> why do you have to be so big here oh my god okay let's do the outro now excuse this dumb eyelash right here that's making my eye look a little bit stupid but. you guys my camera died so i have to do it on my phone <laughs> i'll place you guys where my camera was so oh i'll place you guys right here because i need to say goodbye to y'all okay guys i'm filming off my phone so i hope you guys don't mind that um so i just want to say thank you guys so much so much for watching this um tutorial if you guys enjoyed it make sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet um if you guys like these types of videos let me know in the comments down below or give this video a thumbs up um and me and my crazy hair will see you next time bye guys